Namaste. Welcome, yogis. It's Jason. Thanks for joining. So let us begin our yoga practice. Now you can either be lying down or sitting up in a meditation position. And just have your palms facing up. They can rest on your knees if you're sitting up or rest them by your side if you're lying down. You may decide to connect the index finger and thumb tips together. Let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And exhale a sigh out of your mouth. And then seal your lips, placing the tip of the tongue on the upper palate, behind the two front teeth. And just take a few deep cleansing breaths, inhaling, exhaling. So as you inhale, think to yourself expansion. As you exhale, contraction. So the inhaling expansion is the yang, and the exhale contraction is the yin. So we have a balance of the two. The inhale is the journey, and the exhale is the arrival or arriving. allowing yourself to journey deeper inwards. Breathing in deeply. Exhaling completely. So just moving into your calm center in preparation for our yoga practice. And then if you're not already lying down, lie flat on your back. Reach your arms overhead, just lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs, lengthen your breath, but also lengthen your fingers and your toes. See if you can interlace the fingers and turn the palms out, pressing the palms of the hands away, and pull the toes back towards your shins. Then scoop up your knees, hug your knees up over chest. Just find a flat back position. Inhale expansion. Exhale contraction. Very good. See if you can take the knees apart and grab hold of your feet. And bring the feet towards you and if you can, move the knees away from you. So you can use the elbows if you want to, if it's right for your body, it's not too strong. So we're just preparing the body for strengthening, having a few opening stretches. Then cross your right leg all the way on top of the left leg and see if you can grab hold of your knees, hug your knees once more, or go deeper, grab the shins, or grab the tops of the feet and open up the outer hips and legs. And change sides, so change the cross of your legs, hugging knees or hugging shins, or maybe full version, take the feet. Just feel for a nice flat back, so continue to breathe in deeply, expanding, exhale completely, contracting. Very good, then prepare to hug your right knee and extend your left leg along the mat. It's up to you if you want to flex the foot or just relax your foot. Hug the knee, open up the front of your left hip. And then take the knee across to the left into a twist. So you can reach your right arm out wide, spread the shoulders apart, or you can also reach down and grab your left foot and come into a pretzel light twist. So if you've got a sore lower back, just take it easy when you're twisting or forward bending. 
pull back if you need to. Return to center. Hug the left knee, extend the right leg. And then begin your twist on side two. Take the left knee, cross to the right. Either reach the left arm out wide or grab your right foot with your left hand. Continue to twist. Give your thigh some love. Remember to practice with compassion. Be nice to your body and it will be nice back to you. Very good. Return to center. Hug the knees once more, maybe rocking side to side. And then float your feet down to the mat. Try to make your feet parallel. Line up the ankles with your sitting bones. Just start with your arms by your side, palms facing down. And as you inhale, lift the arms overhead, lift the hips up. Try not to lift your toes or your heels. And then as you exhale, lower down. So link or sink the movement with the breath. Inhale, reach, lifting hips. Exhale, lower. So be aware of each and every vertebrae in your spine as you lift, inhale. Lower, exhale. So continue like this, or if you want to work a little bit stronger, inhale, arms overhead, and then as you exhale, curl up. If you need a hand behind the head, do that, okay? Inhale, hips up, exhale, hips down, head and shoulders lift. Maybe go stronger still, lift the feet, okay, hug the knees towards you. Strengthen your lower abs. Inhale. Exhale. Possible tuck. See if you can manage two or three more of those. And then you may have a little breather. Rock it out. Then wrap your hands around the back of the thigh, slowly rolling forwards and backwards. and then come up to seated. Once more, bring the feet together, knees apart, okay, in butterfly. And then patty cake your hands and take your hands either side of your left knee, okay, and start to twist to the left. So you might actively push down with your left hand as you twist left, maybe look left. You ought to feel something, not in the lower back, but in the upper back and shoulders. Okay. Then keep your left hand down, reach your right arm up, and take a side bend. So you could always move that left hand or come down onto the forearm. Aim to really reach and extend your right arm. Maybe tuck the chin into the shoulder or the armpit. And then come back up. Take your hands to the other side. Begin to twist the other way. So bringing some mobility into the upper spine. And then prepare for your side bend. Okay, if this is too strong, you can always cross your legs. If it's too strong, having your feet together. Maybe chin into the armpit. Really reach your arm if you can to deepen. Then come back to center. You can cross your ankles and come forward onto your hands and knees or just safely make your way into child's pose. Sit back over the heels, relax your forehead down, relax your belly, relax your buttocks. Just try to completely relax and allow your body to open up. And then begin on your hands and knees. Just place your hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. Tuck your toes, arch the back, cow pose. 
and then point your toes around the back cow pose or ca uh, cat pose. Inhale, arch cow, alternating tucking toes. Exhale, pointing toes, round the back cat pose. And then the next time you tuck the toes in cow, lift the knees slowly up towards down dog. Walk the dog, pedal the feet. Or you can pump the heels together, bend, extend, bend, extend. Warming into the arms and shoulders. Move your hands back towards your feet. See if you can interlace the fingers behind your back. Extend the knuckles up, bow the head. So, chest expanding, opening up the chest and shoulders. Then walk your hands forward to a high plank position. See if you can rest your left hand on your lower back. If it's too strong, have the knees down. Hold there for five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides, left hand down, right hand on the lower back. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Back to plank. Roll the heels to the right, Diablo Asana. Reach up. Okay. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Change sides, roll the heels to the left, arms reach. One, two, three, four, five. Back to a plank, hit the deck, lower the knees, chest and chin. Flatten the hips, bring your legs and feet together and interlace the fingers once more behind your back. You can start with your chin down. Inhale to lift and snake pose. Just keep your legs down, your feet down. But maybe you can lift a little bit higher. Just take care. Remember, practice with compassion. Okay. And then move back to a child's pose. Soaking up that little warm up. And then get ready to come back to down dog so you can start on all fours. Move your hands two inches forward. Tuck your toes back to down dog. And then you may walk up unless you like to hop up the feet between the hands. Good. And slowly uncurl your body, reaching up. You may bend the back here in Urdhva Hastasana taking a little bit of an arch to the back, and then bring your hands to your heart. So we'll be working in a flow style now. Inhale to reach, okay? And exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale into a flat back, so you can have your hands on your shins or fingertips on the floor. Lift and lengthen, and then fold, ragdoll, Okay. Step back to a high plank, okay, or you can jump back to Chaturanga. Take your flow sequence, so you can do Chaturanga up dog if you know it, otherwise stay with me, knees, chest and chin, snail, inhale, baby cobra, and everybody meets back and downward facing dog. Then raise your right leg up, three legged down dog. Look between your hands, step your right foot through, try to line your toes up with your fingertips. Lower your left knee down, okay? Reach up, low lunge. So you might bring the hands together, you might take Venus Mudra. Beyond that, you might look up to the thumbs, creating an arch of your back and deepen the lunge in the front knee. Then float your hands on the side of your front foot, go back to a high plank. Take a flow, otherwise just go to down dog. So if you're with me, striking cobra, back to downward facing dog. Then left leg lifts, three-legged down dog. 
look between the hands, step the left foot through, right knee comes down, arms reach. Take it to your fullest expression. Do what you can do. Inhale. Okay. Exhale, hands down. Once more back to a high plank. Make your way to down dog, either directly or flow. Take a little breather for a few breaths in downward facing dog, or if you need child's pose. So try to have 25% weight in each hand and foot, so you're evenly weighed. And then come back to downward facing dog, look between the hands, walk up or hop up. Inhale into a flat back, exhale to fold. Inhale, reach up, root and rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Round two, inhale, reach. Listen carefully, exhale, come into chair pose. You might deepen lifting the toes or you might deepen lifting the heels. Okay. Inhale, hold and exhale, fold. Take a bow. Good. Go back to a plank or jump back, chaturanga. Take a vinyasa. Flow sequence back to downward facing dog. See if you can raise the right leg up, bend the right leg. See if you can come into scorpion or hippie dog. Lengthen your arms. Create space between the knees. Maybe look under your right armpit. Then look between the hands. Step the right foot through. This time, place your back heel down. Come up to warrior one. So from your warrior one, interlace the fingers. Press the palms up, heels of the hands up, hug the arms alongside your ears, and bend clean to the right. Keep your back heel pressing down. Keep the front toes nice and long. Okay. So maintain a nice lunge in the front knee. And then change, interlace the fingers behind your back. Take a bow inside your front leg. In Humble Warrior, knuckles up. You might clasp the hands or create a mudra. Back to warrior one, reach up. Inhale, exhale, hands down. Back to a high plank. Flow or just go to down dog. So you can flow. Back to down dog. Get ready for side two, then you can have a short rest. Left leg lifts, left leg bends, scorpion. Look between the hands. Step the left foot through, back heel down. Coming up, warrior one. So you're facing, you know, the front of your mat. Squaring the hips, lengthen your back leg, bend the front knee. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms out. This time bend to the left. Come up through center, interlace the fingers behind you, retract the shoulders, take a bow inside the front leg, get your shoulders, torso, in front of your, inside your front knee, lengthen. Inhale as you come back up, exhale, hands to the mat, go back to a plank, make your way to down dog once more. Flow or just go to down dog. Have a little breather in down dog, or if you need it, child's pose, either arms forward or you can have them by your side. Take three to five breaths. So, just like when you're in the gym and you're doing your weights, you know, you don't do the weights continuously, 
you do a set, have a rest, do another set. So get ready, come up, downward facing dog. Look between the hands, walk or hop through. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, so ready for the next round. Inhale, reach, maybe arch. Exhale to fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. And exhale, fold. Okay, go back to a plank or float back to Chaturanga. Flow. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Raise the right leg again, bend the right leg again, scorpion, or flip it over, wild thing. Okay. Really lift the hips, arch your back, maybe look to your right hand. Then retrace your steps back. Step the right foot between your hands, back heel down, coming up to warrior two. And then bend sideways into peaceful warrior, possibly taking the top arm to the ear, or tuck the chin into the armpit, back leg straight, front knee bent. Good. Then come through warrior two, cross your right arm over left, tuck the right elbow into the left elbow crease, maybe backs of the hands together, possibly palms of the hands together, ostrich pose, bowing inside your front leg once more, or emu pose, Australian ostrich. Okay. Then tone as you come up, lifting up. Okay. See if you can flick your back heel up and face forward in a high crescent. And then take the weight into the front leg, front foot. Lift your back leg. Really extend as best you can both legs. And then if you're able to, Cross the left leg over right in eagle. Single or double wrap your legs. Either sit up straight or tuck elbows to knees and maybe chin to chest. And then take it back to warrior two. Turn your toes to the left side of your mat, star pose. Interlace the fingers behind the back, open the chest, arch and bow, wide-legged forward fold. If you want to open the feet wider, go for it. Crown is down, knuckles up, maybe Venus Mudra. Retrace your steps back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, hands to the mat. Go back to a plank low or just go to down dog. Do what's realistic for you. You don't have to push too hard if you're not ready to. Get ready for the second side. Left leg lifts, left leg bends. Scorpion, stay there. Or flip it, wild thing. Then make your way back the way you came. Step the left foot through, back heel down, warrior two, side two. So the left foot is forward, bending towards your back leg sideways, no twisting, no arching, just clean sideways. So the spine is able to bend each way, left and right. Come through center, warrior two, okay? Left arm over right. Tuck the top elbow into the bottom elbow crease. Single wrap or double wrap. Take a bow inside your front leg. Emu or ostrich. Coming up, flick your back heel up. Keep the front knee bent at this stage. Move to take the weight into your front leg, front foot. Right leg lifts. And then when you're ready, take eagle, bend the front leg knee, maybe double wrap the legs, sit up tall, 
or tuck, elbows to knees, maybe chin to chest. Back to warrior two. This time turn your toes to the right side of your mat. Take your right hand inside your right foot. Okay, the knee and the arm or elbow compressed together. As you reach your left arm up, maybe look at the thumb. Possibly half bind, tuck your left hand into your right thigh. Or possibly full bind, take your right arm, forearm under the right thigh and clasp your um, hands. And then back to star pose. Take the left hand inside your left foot, right arm reaches, stay there for the twist or half bind, possible full bind. Back to star pose, back to warrior two, back to down dog. So one more flow or just go to down dog, whatever you need. Take a rest in down dog, otherwise child's pose. Okay, so let's get ready. Back to downward facing dog. Look between your hands. Walk or hop the feet through. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. So, get ready for an arm balance or possible arm balance. Not necessary that you do it, you just um, do the first steps of the pose, you're getting into the pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come into chair. So do your best to have your legs and feet together. Bring your hands together in prayer. Hook your left elbow outside the right knee. Okay. You can go deeper, lifting your heels and floating chair. Okay. Or you might patty take the hands, take the hands to the floor. And balance your knees above your left elbow, inside, oh. okay. spending one or two breaths there. You might do the other side. If you're not balancing or not coming into this pose, then just practice the twisted chair or twisted floating chair. When you're ready, back to chair. And then exhale, fold once more. Come into Gorilla Asana or Gorilla Pose. Lift your feet. Slide your hands underneath. So it's a good stretch for the hands and wrists. Relax your head, neck, shoulders. And then you may step back to a down dog, pedal out the feet. Good. And then let's take deer pose just as we cool down. Take your right knee to the left wrist or to the floor behind the left wrist and drop onto the outside of your right leg, right buttock and be on the inside of your left leg, left buttock. So you can make two kind of arrows or pinwheels, and then you can fold over the front of your knee, right knee, or you can go deeper and fold over the front of the shin. So it's similar to pigeon, but you know, not as hard on our knees. So find the sweet spot for you. You might make a hand pillow, or you might rest your forehead down. Just do what feels right for your body. We don't want any pain or discomfort.
then slowly coming up, take your back foot around your front knee so you're ready to twist to the left. If you're not able to quite do this, you could try straightening your right leg and that'll make it easier. You may hook your elbow around the knee, so opposite elbow, opposite knee. You could bind here. If you're binder, you can bind. So possibly looking to the left, just do your best to keep your spine nice and straight. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. If you want to take another flow, you can. Okay. And then get ready to take your left knee behind the right wrist, opposite wrist, lower onto the outside of your left leg, left bump. Be on the inside of your back leg, right leg, and now fold over your front knee, left knee. Slowly coming up, bring your back foot around the front knee, or if you need to extend the leg, now you're twisting to your right, opposite way. Sit up tall, shoulders back, neck long. Maybe hook the elbow outside the knee, possibly binding. Good. And then releasing, extend your legs forward. Okay. You can take an easier option with the legs bent. Lovingly hug your legs, bow the head, or you might have the legs straight, reaching up, grab the big toes, or all the toes, or the outer feet, or wherever you can reach and fold, in Hashimotanasana, Tack, tracking the elbows out wide, if you're doing that. Good, then. See that we can come to lie on our back. You might reach the arms up, inhale, and slowly exhale, lowering down onto your back. Okay. So you may come to bridge pose, like an easy back bend, lifting the hips, interlacing the fingers underneath your buttocks. Or you might come into a full wheel pose, so you can come into a full back bend if that's if you're used to doing that, that's safe for you. So taking a few breaths here. Then lower down. Hug the knees, counter stretch, counter pose. Then see if you can take the knees apart, grab hold of the feet, outsides of the feet if you can, otherwise grab the ankles. Take happy baby, possibly rocking side to side. Just to stretch out the front of your hips, you might float the left foot to the mat or extend the left leg and half of the happy baby. Change, float the right foot down or extend the leg, half happy baby. Then float both of your feet to the mat. Take your arms out wide. If you can, bend the arms, like make two L shapes or right angles. Roll the knees to the right. Or go deeper in double diamond, placing the right ankle over the left knee. And change sides. Bring the knees up, roll the knees to the left. If you can go deeper, left ankle on the right knee, twisting. Good. And then get ready for a minute or so of relaxation. Lying on your back. Chin is in. Palms are up once more. Maximize your breath or capacity to breathe. If you like, take a 
breath out, exhale with slow sigh as you sink into your mat, into a pool of gravity. Allow the body to rest and recover. Maybe still aware of the expansion as you breathe in, contraction as you breathe out, the yin and yang. your calm center once more, resting your body, back to the body, take a few deeper breaths, maybe start to move the fingers and toes, hands and feet, wrists and ankles, you might transition to a full body stretch, you can bend your knees or hug your knees up, maybe rocking or circling. And then float your feet to the mat, reach your right arm overhead, roll off to the right side. And then carefully use your hands and arms to come up to a seated position, cross legs, or if it's more comfortable, kneeling. Sitting up nice and tall. Seal the hands in front of the heart. Just find your center of gratitude grateful for not just the big things, but all the little things too. And then we'll complete our practice by saying a prayer of peace for all beings. Om Shanti. And honoring each other in the light that we share. Namaste. Thanks for joining everyone. Have a beautiful day or evening wherever you are and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.